What is hardest for you about your time as host coming to an end? I, right. Uh, I, th I think really knowing uh, the place I'll be leaving the show in uh, without my face being the face of the show, it's, it's a tremendous hole I'll be leaving. Uh, and that's hard for me to have to live with. Next question. Uh, what are your hopes for the future of Off the Wire? Uh, I hope one day the show does expand to an Amazon-esque mega corporation um, <laughs> that has the power to influence elections and bring on the downfall of democracy. But on a more selfish note, I hope it fails miserably. <laughs> next, <laughs> next question. Hey, I do anything. Uh, Coach, they beat you up at the three-point line tonight. How are you going to respond in game six? Yeah, we got to play better defense. <laughs> we we got to get the rebounds. We got to play smart. You know, I've been preaching this all season. It's simple ball, right? We got to play better defense. Next question. Hey, Ethan, huge fan. Who has been your favorite guest this year? Why are you asking me that? You're trying to put me in a bad spot right now? You got kids? No? Well, say you do. How would you like it if I asked you to choose your favorite kid, huh? My favorite guest was the Easter Bunny. <laughs> hey, Ethan, thanks for having me. Um, do you view this season as a failure? Michael Jordan played 15 seasons. He only won six chips. Were the other nine seasons a failure? So then I ask you, if you put out a mediocre program on a barely functioning website, would you consider that a failure? <laughs> Hey, Ethan, uh, longtime fan, first time audience member. Uh, what's a message you have for your successor? Don't say anything that's going to get you canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I have for my successor. Also, uh, watch your back. <laughs>